A community is mourning tonight after a devastating crash took the lives of six young adults. We are live at the scene in Barrie where a memorial has been growing all day. Friends and family have been stopping by to pay their respects and tonight we're learning more about the victims from the community. Unspeakable grief in Barrie, a community shaken by the tragic and sudden loss of six young lives. Friends and family lay flowers at the scene of the crash, praying and consoling one another. And flags fly at half-mast nearby at Barrie City Hall, where the mayor is still processing the tragedy. It's been tough to find the words. I'm a parent myself, right? And any, anybody who's got teenagers or young adults as kids... You, this hits so close to home. Police discovered the bodies of four men and two women, all in their early 20s, early Sunday morning. The victims are believed to be the same group of young adults who had gone to a local casino together on Friday evening. They were reported missing Saturday after friends lost contact with them. The car was located at an intersection that has been closed since the spring. The city of Barrie says it is the site of a municipal construction project. Well, there's construction going on along here. This is why the road's been closed for several months. There's construction going on of, of major infrastructure in the area, including pipes and those sorts of things uh, that include some of those excavations that you can see. There is local access, of course, for the people who live there, um, for people to be able to access their own properties. Police say their investigation is ongoing, and while they haven't released the names of the victims, friends and family have started identifying them on social media. Three of them were local athletes. 22-year-old Luke West was part of Barry Lacrosse for almost his entire life. The Barry Minor Lacrosse Association is remembering him as a beloved player and coach who was a locker room favorite due to his toughness, tenacity, and incredible lacrosse IQ. Simcoe County football paying respects to two of their former players, 22-year-old Curtis King and 23-year-old River Wells, remembering them not only as great athletes for what they did on the field, but also as the great people they were in life. Haley Marin is being remembered as an extremely smart, kind and beautiful soul, her best friend writing in a Facebook post that she was the only one she could share anything and everything with, and there was no shortage of light when Haley entered a room. The two other youth that Barry police reported missing were Jersey Mitchell and Jason O'Connor. Now locals here tell us that despite being closed, this road is often used as a shortcut by residents who live here. A portion of McKay Road will remain closed as police continue their investigation. They say this investigation will take time. The Ministry of Labour is also here on scene.